even if you've accepted Jesus, that's not what this is about. I was in the gym service, um, and that is not my normal service because I go to the sanctuary most of the time. Pastor John Kelly came to the service and he said, if anybody has a need for prayer, raise your hands up. And Sunday I, I got a push in my chest saying, go pray for the lady next to you. I looked around, there were two empty seats, both empty. And I looked, there's no one there. And I started arguing with the Holy Spirit saying, there's nobody there and I'm not going to lay my hands on a stranger. And I said, God, I want someone to raise their hand so that I can pray for them. Suddenly a girl on two men, left side, raised their hand because to the right there was a couple and they had not raised. So immediately I jumped and I went to the girl I was just praying for her. I didn't know what her needs were. I had no clue what she was praying for. I just prayed, God, whatever her needs are, just meet the needs because I don't know what her needs are. The Holy Spirit guided me that whatever her needs are, it is already met. Her needs are met. So I came back to the seat. I sat down and again a voice spoke to me saying, write down the scripture Galatians 5 1 and I knew those were the words which kept me going during the time that I needed and that that always strengthened me Galatians 5 1 and then again a voice told me write your cell phone number that's when it got me I said no Lord I cannot write the cell phone number to someone a stranger that I have never seen or met how can I write a cell phone to my husband is a missionary and he always travels and I stay at home with two kids. I cannot write my cell phone to a complete stranger, but I had to do it because it was prompted. I felt prompted and I wrote down Galatians 5.1 and I wrote my cell phone number and I held it in my hands until the end of the service because I did not want to give it to this little girl. After the service, I was still shaking because I didn't want to do. And again, when I was handing this paper to her, I just wanted to get out of the service as quick as I can. I gave the hand of this paper to her and I had to sit beside her because I could not go out, which I wanted to do. I sat next to her and Holy Spirit guided me. Like it, it just came out of my mouth. Your prayers are answered. You're pregnant. Go home in peace. Sunday evening, I get a text that the, your prayers were very strengthening to me and I'm blessed with that. And the next thing that I text her back was your prayers have been answered and you're going to dedicate the church, child in the church. So she texted me back again. She said, do you know what, what my needs were? I said, I have no clue what it was or what are you praying for? She has been texting me that she has been married for two years and she had a miscarriage and she could not get pregnant. That's when I knew what the magnitude of whole thing that she was praying for. After a week, she texted me back saying, that she was pregnant. And she told me, she was texting me that when she came to the church, she was already pregnant and I did not know what her needs were and she did not know that she was pregnant. All God told me or the Holy Spirit prompted me to tell her that her needs have been met already. My name is Elizabeth Jivagis and I listen to the whisper of the Holy Spirit.